All right, here at the Kerfoot home, just wanted to walk through real quick what we're looking at. So we'd be looking at all the trim work around the house. So we'd be looking at all these fascia and soffit peaks, gutters, downspouts, gutter boards, soffits. You've got trim boards behind these downspouts right here and here. Uh, you've also got them on the ends here and here. Other than that, there's nothing um, on the house as far as trim boards, uh, but you do have some window trim here. I'll point out area that needs to be recalked. So areas like that need to be recalked around the window trim. Same thing around these peak vents. These peak vents would be done as well. No door, but the frame we would do this post as well. We would take care of. Um, you've got areas like this where uh, you can see paint has been built up here over time and we need to cut that away so that moisture can flow down there um, because moisture is catching where the gutter meets your gutter board and causing issues so we want to try to remedy that as best as possible so uh, cutting that out and then redoing the paint will help with that you've got this side over here oh sorry shutters will come off so nothing with the shutters um, you've got the trim work here you've got some peeling at various locations along this fascia here so i need to scrape it and prime it with peel bond make sure that adhesion is as best as possible you've got some areas uh, you will have a separate quote for the uh, power wash of the vinyl this side's the worst as far as you got some mold mildew stuff kind of settling on the house you can see it right there so it just needs to be washed well and then you've got soffit and gutter board across here again you've got some of that mildew build up right there that we want to address same thing here you've got that paint build up that's causing moisture to get trapped behind the gutter. So we wanna to try to scrape that as best as possible. We've got an opening here. The homeowner would prefer us to not power wash around this opening. So just be careful of that area. And then you've got the upper trim here, this door, and that's pretty much it. Nothing of major concern, a little bit of peeling down at the bottom there, uh, but overall nothing major of concern. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know.